Uh, sup everyone, I'm Cooper. Today we are going to be showing you what we carry on the trail and in the camper. Thank you, Cooper. Did a good job. Wait for introduction. Yep. Um, we've had a few requests over the uh, past few months, I believe, um, asking us what type of stuff we carry with us in the uh, side sides while we're out on the trail to do these repairs and um, some spare parts we keep with us. So we're in our DIY enclosed trailer, aka home away from home, aka travel trailer aka not plugged in so no power <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully it's showing up okay it's not too dark but we figured we would start in basically the stuff we carry with us in here as far as like spare parts tools um everything we need to do so on the outside we have spare drive shaft hooked just with a little clamp like a home depot special we have our very, very expensive, not used Visco <laughs> Turner Eagle level two axles um, that we have for, for a spare for Visco, and we'll get into that in a minute. And then we have two rear axles that we also carry in here. And these are all clamps from, from Home Depot that we got that just so happened to be pretty close to the right size. So, yeah, we'll start on this side. Behind the first door, we have a very heavy bag. You just want to grab it and bring it out here. So we have a spare visco diff. Just in case things go bad on the trail with our Halo 30s. And I know I think I mentioned before in a different video that we have our old carrier which is right there i'm gonna grab that, that so we have we have the ring gear just in case you never know and we have our visco slash halo pin locker kit and what we can do with that is we can either choose to run just a visco diff pop this right in with those axles or we can pop this cover off and throw the halo locker differential in or uh, carrier in and we can have the the pin locker kit and we also have the uh, pinion bearing pinion gear a few extra halo locking gears we have some uh, some side bearings for the uh, visco diff some spider gears um this is a, a locking gear what else is in there a couple bolts for the halo what's in this one same same just some bolts and some uh seals some of these seals out out there yeah and those are the, those are the bearings for that some shims for the uh, halo 30 that we have so that covers our front diff spare parts we also have a bunch of radius rods we don't have to really pull them out i think i don't know if you guys can see or not we have some rear sway bar links just in case ours would go bad this is your clutch tool we also have a primary splitter clutch removal tool And up here, diff fluid. Diff fluid. Here, Coop, wanna hold that stuff for me? Yep, just lots and lots of rags. Yeah, towels, rags, microfiber cloths. Extra piece of camp wire. Got the uh, toe strap up in this section. Oh, can't forget 12 2 wiring just in case. I don't know. Slide hammer. Yep, slide hammer. This is for suctioning or emptying oil or diff fluid. And our Northeast Power Fruits flags. Yeah, those are for our uh, dune trips, dune flags, yep. So, slide hammer. Hopefully we went over that, right? Yep. Okay. So that's what was behind door number one. 
Now, let's check out behind door number two. So, in this one, we have another spare drive shaft, front drive shaft. We have ball joints, front, I think these are uppers, and lowers, More. uppers and lowers. Having just, two machines, you got to have double. Yeah, you just never know. <laughs> Having two machines, you know, you're twice as like, likely to break twice as many parts. So, what else do we have here? This is a window or a windshield clip. We have some oil, which we also have oil up there. Um, tie rod ends. Never have too many of them. I think we have two in here and we have actually two in the house. Um, this is a KWI. Um, what is that? Uh, the uh, I'm drawing a blank here. No, not the rollers. The uh, Yeah, the rollers. This is to pull the little pin out of your uh, secondary rollers. Um, and just for anyone that hasn't used this, it can be a pain in the butt. I got what, like two uh, bloody fingers doing that. We have a uh, wheel bearing because you never know. And in here, I think we have some rollers, yeah, um, bushings for the rear sway bar. We have a couple rollers in there, uh, secondary rollers. Spare bolts, just in case. I think that about covers that in there. Shove that all back in there. All right, up in top we have. This is just full of tools. Yes, yeah, just tools. There's a uh, voltmeter, tape measure, air, miscellaneous tools. Um, pretty much all metric or adjustable stuff. Um, Yep, you got a snap ring assortment. We got two belts, oh, used uh, belts that we keep for spares. Heat shrink. Let's just pull that out here. You want to hold on to that coop? Let's see what we got in here. We got heat shrink. There we go. We got brake pads. Half used, some worn down. That's like a... An extra seal yeah. for the... Primary. Yeah, primary uh, or your clutch cover uh, gasket. We have an extra visco boot, uh, carburetor cleaner, and WD-40, and ratchet straps. This is our uh, tent, tent stake tie down strap stuff. Carrier bearing. We have a yep a carrier bearing. Um. We've actually had to change one of them on Sherry's on the trail. And there's one more thing in here. This, this is my uh, tool for compressing. Oh, there's, man, it's a, it's a mess in here now. <laughs> there's another belt. And uh, What's the belt? that piece of all thread is for the, uh, uh, to squish the secondary spring down. So let's head over and disassemble the backs of the X3s. We'll get in there and we'll get. Uh, yeah, it is heavy. It's a diff and a bunch of bunch of steel parts. Um, we'll jump over here to the garage and uh, we'll show you what we actually carry with us on the trail while we're riding. All right, we're back over here in the garage. Um, so this first bag here that, um, if you see this in our videos, it's usually on the corner of my machine here. It's usually just full of like snacks, chips, Doritos, Pringles, stuff like that. So this is the big 45 liter tail gunner bag. And it usually sits right in this area here. And this is the first thing out of that. 
that we carry with us. So, an assortment of tools, pliers, ratchet, sockets, axle nut, wrenches, hand cleaner. Hand cleaner. So, basically, basically all just a bunch of metric tools, a clamp, screwdriver, stuff like that. But 95% of it, tools. So. Next we have, this is our uh, Ryobi um, power washer. And it has a, let's see if I can open this. There we go. It has a little container thing here that you can, or you can put this on the, sure. on the front. You can put it on here and this goes into like a bottle if you wanted to use a bottle or you have the big one here or you have this which has a hose and a filter that you can throw into a uh, a crick and it's battery operated there's a battery there and that is that's the wand that goes on the end like this so there you go coop you can have that stuff set it aside Never know when you need a battery powered grinder. We've actually used that. We've used that to cut off uh, rear, one of uh, our friend's axles. I yeah. think a rear axle we used to cut off the end. Hamer. Hand that to Cooper. Never know. Some grinding wheels. And an extra hoodie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That, that. Never know when you need a hoodie. And that's it in there? That's it in that one. Okay. So that's what I carry in the back of mine. So let's move on over to Sherry's. And I think we might have to actually unpack her stuff. So we'll get... We'll pull some of this stuff down off of her machine here. And we'll, uh, we'll be right back with you. All right. Let's start with a little bag. That little bag hangs here. And the other big bag goes there. Uh, air, pump. air pump. Battery powered Ryobi air pump. The um, battery. <laughs> the... This is a... Was this Milwaukee, right? Yeah. Yeah, Milwaukee. Yes. <laughs> That's the uh, Torx bit. We use this mainly to take the uh, belt cover off. Propane. Propane. We use that. We use that for a little girl that we carry sometimes. Extra socks. Orange. Hat. <laughs> Is that Tennessee, it? That one? Tennessee ride me need orange. Yeah, Tennessee in the wintertime so, for other hunting season you need orange. That's it for that one. All right. That's a 15 liter tail gunner haversack. And this is another 45. So this one is just, I think, all off the ends. Oh, it's got an odds and ends. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, we have Allen wrenches, lug nuts, hose clamps, little wrench, brake caliper. I stripped one of these out before. It uh, goes through brake caliper. This is your belt box cover bolt lug nut again. You get the gist. Sidewall slug? Yeah, it can't go anywhere that sidewall slug. Those things, we've used that what, one time we've used it and it paid for itself. I want to say they're 20 bucks or something like that. It's in case you get a sidewall cut. You just got them. That works great. Mm -hmm. Clevis. Some extra screwdrivers, some. Tire plug. Tire plug. Some seat. Oh, there's seat risers, huh? Risers, some tape. And what else? just the little. Little odds and ends things. Yeah. I think this is like a. The factory little. It's like a little hatchet hammer yeah. thing. Yeah. In case you get stuck out in the middle of the woods, you gotta build a fire. Hatchet neck there. Alright. Little Coleman, was it a pack and go or uh, what's it called? 
Folding girl, I believe. Folding girl, little Coleman folding girl grill. And then we got Jesse's water shoes. Little water shoes. And that's it in that one. That's it. That's it. Okay, so that's that's what you see we got in there. And we're gonna put some of this stuff back and we can come back here and we'll check out the uh what's in the uh storage. And on the on the back of mine I have the uh uh cooler. So I carry all the food and drinks and stuff and then she carries all the uh the tools and necessities. So we'll be right back. All right, Sherry, what we got in the back here? A kit, tire kit. Let's see what we got. This is also from a tail gunner. Tail gunner. A vulcanizing tire repair kit. Can never leave without one of them. Soft shackle. Oh, uh, yeah. Those. We Soft shackle. Up. Everything we use more, we keep in this box. gonna be kind of a mess back here yeah tow rope tow strap we've used that go around a tree whatnot another spare belt and a bungee that's wrapped around it Cooper <laughs> found in the woods last time and a bungee Aww. a little fold up shovel just in case you need to in case you need to bury someone in case you need to poop in the woods or that <laughs> clutch tool that's the uh if you're not familiar with that this one came from kemi moto it's to uh uh release your secondary so you can put a new belt on half inch impact usually that's in the bag yeah we usually keep that in a bag um, a bag of first aid some band-aids Definitely need All first kinds aid. Of extra, extra stuff in there. Sling. Sling. Another hammer. A little hammer. What else we got in here? Another, Another strap. Root. Another strap. I never have too many of those. Got a jack. Just powder up. <laughs> here, Cuba, I'll start hand. Got a jack. This came out of. That came out of our last F-150, didn't it? Yeah. We stole that out of the 150 before we sold it. Little WD-40. Give me that axle out of there. We'll get that axle out here. So we carry a rear axle with us. We actually used to keep... Here's the rear. So we have we have three rears with us. We have more here. Um, if we break more than three on a trip, we're not doing something right. <laughs> we used to keep two front axles in here too when we were running a Visco. Um, because the left and rights are different so um, now that we have the turners we don't have spares for those so we just keep the the visco stuff in the uh the trailer and if we would happen to break then we would just run back um poor cooper standing in the background holding all this stuff you can <laughs> no, set it down buddy <laughs> uh, yeah screw that together we'll see so i made it me and my uh my dad made this because i got tired of breaking axles yeah, and then the cups them. the cups get stuck in there so we made this watch your hand we made this cool slide hammer tool and uh put the axle cv in there and then you tighten down those bolts there's one missing because we can usually not fit it in yeah and then uh use this like a slide hammer and pulls the uh cv out Saw. Hand saw. Mm. Oh, you have to push that button there. Push the button. Hand saw. Maybe we don't want to pull all this stuff out. No. We just threw these in here. Yeah, we got new we Sway bar links. Okay. Front sway bar links. Other clevis. Tie rod end. Wipes. Get yourself mm. cleaned off. Zip ties. This is dirty. We're going to have to clean this out. Yeah, I'm going to clean it out. Knee brace for my it bad just, knee. It sweats in here. Socks. Mm -hmm. Socks. Never know when you need socks. Nothing worse than being out there being cold and having wet feet. Fire extinguisher. 
not going to make any jokes about the fire extinguisher. Um, Cooper, Cooper, go ahead and grab it. He, Cooper wanted me to show you the thing he got the other day. We keep it with us. So it's like a little axe. Has the paracord stuff on it. Fire. Um, here, you hold that. Does it scare you? <laughs> so we have that. Here, you can put that back. Um, I have a tire gauge. Um, Mike. Of course, you gotta gotta be rocking the stickers. We carry stickers with us. Um, napkins, goggles, sway bar links, stuff like that. So that pretty much sums up. I know we went through it fairly quickly, but that pretty much sums up everything that we carry with us on the trails. Um, you can see some of the uh, axles that we don't carry with us anymore. We have more radius rods that are semi-bent. A couple more axles there. Spare rim that's a little bit walled out. Um, that's pretty much it. Got some Zillas sitting there. If you didn't see our video of testing these tires out, you can check that out. Uh, anything else here? No? That pretty much sums it up. If you have any more questions, let us know. Uh, we'll try to go through and do as many video requests as, as we can. Um, aside from the riding videos, I know we mainly pretty much focus on riding and like how-to videos for uh, upgrades and stuff like that. So hope that you enjoyed that. Hope that this video helps some of you out. Um, if there's anything else they want to see, they can yeah. send a message. Yeah, if there's, if there's anything else that you carry that we don't, let us know. Um, I know we've, a couple people have said to like carry a chainsaw. Yeah. which we need to get uh, like a small battery chainsaw. That would have been helpful a few times. Um, but let us know in the comments if there's anything that you carry that you didn't see us go over today. Um, I, feel like, I feel like we're a little overkill with stuff that we carry, but you can never have too much stuff. <laughs> Everything we carry a lot carry, of stuff. We've needed it at some point. <laughs> yeah, and we're lucky enough to have two machines, yeah. so... Uh, we can carry double the stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave us a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. And we'll see you on the next video.